Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to load a CSV file in our commander, how to set the working directory and how to do some basic stuff using RStudio in our commander. Okay, so first of all let's start RStudio. So this is the same if you're using a Windows machine or a MacBook like I am, so the same steps are required. So first of all, you need to start, you need to have R installed, R Studio installed, and R Commander installed. If you haven't installed them yet on your computer, just look at the previous videos on this channel and you should be able to do so on your either Windows computer or MacBook. Um, so don't worry about this small error. So the first thing I want to show you is how to change the working directory. So if I go into files on this tab on the right side, I can see all these documents, okay? So this is the folder on my Mac, on my computer, where RStudio is looking at, okay? So I need to change this so that it points to a folder on my desktop that I've just created that is called MM1F28, okay? So in order to do that, and I will have to do that every time I start RStudio, okay? Every time, if I want to do that, I just need to go to session in the top at the top of the screen and then set working directory and then I choose choose directory okay so that's what we need to do and then I can choose the folder where I want to go in my case in desktop and then is mm1f28 I select it and then I press open now the folder is empty you see that here this line of code uh, is what our studio has created so I've converted my clicking the graphic user interface has been converted into a code. You don't have to learn this, it's just so you know what the clicking does. And I can see there is nothing in my folder. That's because the folder is empty, okay, as you can see here. Um, now what I want to do is to go onto Blackboard, okay, go to the uh, MM1F28 module, go to Learning Material, uh, okay, and then go to session one and then workshop okay here we have a roger csv file now if you're using a chrome chrome like a google chrome like i'm doing you can just click on it if you're using safari i would suggest you to right click and then save as and then we ask you we'll tell you how to save it you can go to the folder you want and press save and there you have it um, now if I open my folder, I have this file, I don't like the way it's named, so I'm just going to remove the things, and now it's roger.csv, okay? So I have roger.csv, a CSV file, I've downloaded it from Blackboard, save it on my computer, and then move it on a specific folder, in this case, mm1f28. Now what I want to do is to start uh, our commander, and then load this data set on my R commander. So I type in the console library RCMDR. Your vision might be like this, doesn't matter, it's the same. Just type in the console at the bottom and press enter. We see all these red things, red, red lines appearing, they're not error messages, it's just telling you what it's doing under the hood. And then, oops. Once this is done, the R commander interface should appear. It's not there yet, but it will appear. Okay. So X quotes has appeared now because I'm using a Mac. I need to have the X quotes installed as well. And there you have the classic interface. Okay. Now what I want to do now is to load the CSV file. So if I go to File, uh, sorry, Data, Import Data. Now we are we have a CSV file, and normally you would open CSV file with Excel, right? But in this case, we don't want to use the From Excel file option. We do not want that because here it's looking for XLX files, and we have a CSV file, so we want to use the first option. So from text file, clipboard, or URL, we click on it. We just need to remember 
that the field separator for us is not white space but it's commas okay so we need to take that make sure that you do that and then press ok and then we just need to look for the folder now um, because I said the working directory is already pointing at this directory if you didn't set the working directory you will have to navigate here and find the folder where you have downloaded the roger.csv file okay I click on roger.csv I press open and nothing happens right but here now I have a data set and I, if I click view data set this small window will appear which can be redefined can be enlarged and this is the file okay so wait time check and diet if you don't believe that or if you want to double check you can always go into the folder where you have downloaded the file and you can you can double click on it and then we'll open the file in Excel um, if you like me I've selected to open CSV file with Excel and then you can see that is exactly the same data set okay wait time check and diet and then you have the values okay now um, you can close this one you have successfully now uh, started our studio started our commander changed the working directory downloaded a csv file from blackboard move it to a specific folder and then loaded that csv file onto our commander okay so Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of the video. If you have any issue, please let me know either in the comment or send me an email. Bye.